Hey guys, welcome back. We're taking now a closer look at the Dart Mall kit that we have in front of us and it's a fully packed set. You get everything in this kit. It's pretty darn amazing. Uh, for a roughly 300 US dollar, you get like a movie accurate uh, setup here. So we just pick up the one from the bottom and just leave this one as is. So you have a clear picture of what you're gonna get in these boxes. Um, we of course get the Dart Mall lightsaber itself, which we're gonna cover in a moment. We get two five millimeter uh, LEDs that are meant for the um, holes here and here. So you actually can wire it up and have lights come out of it. And it's pretty cool. And then we have here, I have to put my finger in it, find it. We have the pommel. This is the pommel, yes. If you want to display or use the individual hilts like this without the coupler, which is also in the box we're gonna cover in a moment, then you can actually use these pieces and that's really cool. So it has the kyber crystal or synthetic crystal in the middle, uh, like uh, as if Dart Maul's lightsaber is de decoupled or it, it's slashed up, whatever, how you wanna uh, perceive it. And then has a few threads on the side and it actually treads in the bottom of the hilt, which I will demonstrate really quick. And uh, it's a really cool uh, piece here because it has uh, like little cues of ele uh, design elements in there. And this is how you uh, basically put it in there. And uh, let's zoom in. And as you can see, that makes the lightsaber really cool with that pommel designs on the side. That's really nice looking, full of details. It just looks really awesome. I like that a lot. And as I said, it comes with the set itself. So you get two of them for each hilt side. Uh, what else we get in the box? We get um, a blade plug for each of the hilts. So it comes with its own blade plug. Uh, let me see where's the uh, lens here. And we zoom in. A nice heft to it, as you can see. A nice solid alloy uh, round piece in there. Shine through. So you can install inheld LED or new pixel setup if you want to. Um, what else we get? A, a plaque uh, to display your lightsabers. DM for Dark Maul, episode one, The Phantom Menace, one of my favorite episodes. And uh, it says custom saber series. Um, now the scratches and dirty stuff on there is just because of the plastic that's on top of it to protect the actual plaque. It's very shiny and uh, scratch free underneath and that's uh, me. <laughs> so let's go ahead and continue. Uh, what else? It concludes in the sets. Um, we have the saber stand that you can build yourself. It's really straightforward. Just these CPU pieces. You you piece, you puzzle it out. It's really easy. And uh, Allen wrench keys and additional uh, um, little grub screws for the lightsaber itself. So we're gonna take a look at the lightsaber now because that's what you guys are really waiting for the most. And uh, this is actually my very first Dart Maul lightsaber that I actually ever review. So I was really stoked to get my hands on uh, one and uh, play with it because, I mean, it's a really intriguing uh, hill design. It's, um, it's such an iconical hill design on its own that, um, yeah, I just must have, uh, have hold it in my hands. And uh, so let's start with the emitter, which I, I could not believe how many details are actually in those emitters from Dart Maul. And as you can see, there's several layers of different pieces that are coming together and different uh, colors of those pieces. It just looks really stunning. Well, I rotate it around, you get a nice view of that uh, emitter. And um, we have the top of the emitter as well. As you can see, some of the specs will sometimes uh, show up on the hilt, so you have an idea about the dimensions and, and the specs and whatnot. Um, the emitter section actually can be untreaded, so I'm gonna do this, uh, quickly show that to you guys. And uh, a lot of threads, a lot of threads, so that's good. And that's gonna allow you to uh, customize the lightsaber. When you build the lightsaber with the electronics inside, it just helps you to make, it help, makes it a bit easier to install it. So this is the, uh, the entire um, emitter section. As you can see, it's a, a solid piece with a grub screw here for the blade retention. And it pokes through on the inside. So that holds your blades inside the emitter. Put that to the side for a second. This is the uh, emitter section with uh, all these little uh, 
yeah, fins, I should call them. Um, makes actually a quite cool, uh, if you look at it, it looks make, makes a pretty darn cool emitter on its own as well. Uh, and then we have the um, threads here, and it's a bit harder to show, but it's the inside of the hilt. It's a bit dark, but you get the point. And then we move down. We have a O-ring here. Oh, let me put this one down. So moving down a little bit on the emitter, we have an O-ring here, a black O-ring. You could put multiple in there to uh, fill up those gaps if you want, those uh, little channels that are being milled out. And then we have multiple buttons here on top, and these are actually functional. They have a little spring underneath with tension, and you could actually have a soundboard installed and use these as uh, activation and aux switch buttons. Um, that is really nice. So it's already there for you. You don't have to do anything besides just wire up your soundboard and whatnot. And then we have a cover tech wheel, typical um, uh, the prequel movie style, very thin, very low profile. I uh, really dig that. And then the holes for the LEDs that I showed you that you can insert and uh, have nice accent lights showing up. And then we go to the middle section, moving all the way to the bottom. And again, we have two more buttons here uh, that are functional, that can be configured and whatnot. Um, I like that uh, this hilt has tons of greeblies. Uh, it really gives a personality to this lightsaber design. Well, we're moving up here a bit, some more space. Really nice, nice uh, finish to the lightsaber as well. Um, it's um, it's nice and smooth. This feels overall very, very nice. And uh, so yes, this lightsaber can be coupled into a single lightsaber. Give me a second, I'm gonna reassemble this piece and we're gonna cut through that in a second. So when you buy these lightsabers in a pair, you get the coupling piece as well. And this is the coupling piece that connects the two hilt sides together. Now, these slits here in the middle, these are for sound venting that allows the sound to be vented out of the lightsaber. So if you choose to wire up only one soundboard in one hilt instead of two hilts, um, you can also of course save a lot of money, but um, the sound will still be very, very good coming out of it. Now this little screw here is to tighten the tension between the two hilts, so it's nice and snug. And um, we basically what we do is just screw in both ends of the lightsaber. Um, they thread it in different directions, of course, so they can be threaded properly. And then you get your other side of the hilt. Yep, let me get it out. And then you just thread it in there. And that's it. That's as simple as it is. Um, and I like that it comes in the set, so you get both options to display your lightsaber or play with your lightsaber as a staff or the individual hilts itself. And here we go. So I just um, really quickly inserted uh, the, uh, the two pieces together. Now, of course, if you need to use the clocking, like you need to line up the hilt parts the same as you want it, then you need to use that screw, that nut is, that is in there, to clock the distance between the two hilts so they align up as you want to. And uh, that is uh, a nice extra feature there. So I'm gonna move the boxes to the side and then we're gonna take a look at the staff configuration itself. Now, because this lightsaber is massive in length, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna show it off like this and you can see how awesome it looks. This is um, definitely a lightsaber that you want to have as a collector of uh, the Canon lightsaber hilts because it just feels so good in a hand. It, I don't know, I never actually um, had reviewed one before and having them uh, in my hands now individual as a hilt and then now as a saber staff combined, it's just, it's just a dream. It just feels really good. It's exactly ticking all the boxes in my mind as of a lightsaber, the weight, the, the form factor, the, 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 the feel of it, all, all coming together like as if it is a real lightsaber. This is how I imagined the actual lightsaber would feel, etc. It's just, it just, it's there. It's really awesome. I really, really dig it. So I'm gonna flip over the screen and we're gonna talk about the verdict that I have for this lightsaber. So let's go. 
Hey everybody, sorry to interrupt the review video like this, but if you are interested in picking up this lightsaber for yourself from the Path Store, you might want to consider getting $5 off by using my promo code REBELC. To use this code you go to the pachstore.com website and you go to this lightsaber and you fill in the code in your order details and you will get $5 off. I definitely recommend getting the $5 off. Let's go back to the review. Okay guys, welcome back. I hope you liked that overview video of this lightsaber. Um, I've been playing for quite a while with this thing and it's just a really amazing lightsaber. What I really like about it is just how it feels in the hand. It's just so smooth to use. Um, it has tons of configuration options, like it has multiple functional greeblies. These actual buttons do stuff. So if you configure it with a certain soundboard, let's say a profi board, a stereo soundboard, or whatever soundboard you desire, you can have all these features and functions showing up. And I mean, you can have two aux switches as if that soundboard allows to be wired up with two aux switches for that uh, for that matter. It's just really crazy what you can do with it. Um, it just feels really solid it's highly crafted super detailed as you saw in the close-up video there's emitters like you can watch it for hours on end and find new details and it's it's just really gorgeous well made um just feels just feels amazing in the hands that's 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 a really big giveaway for me it just feels really good um you really can feel like dart mall showing and throwing and blowing those lightsabers all around and killing hordes of um, rebels basically in a battle, Star Wars Battlefront 2. <laughs> then uh, yeah, if you if you like that game and you like to play heroes vs villains, Darth Maul is the bee's knees for me at least. And having this lightsaber beside me when I play this game, wow, is amazing. So hopefully you like this video. If you're seeking for a accurate Darth Maul lightsaber, check out the uh, Ultimate Works uh, Dark Maul kit. I put the link here below in the description. Um, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys. Bye bye. See you.